Johnson, the Flying Commando. Of a man devoted to the cause of freedom and justice. A war hero who has never stopped fighting against his country's enemies. A private citizen who is dedicating his life to the struggle against evil men everywhere. Chet Jackson. Telegram? Yes. Something important? Sounds like it. Listen to this. Please meet me Thursday. Room 409, La Portale Hotel, Cairo, Egypt. Urgent. Signed, SQ-33. Who's SQ-33? We'll have a look at the microfilm file and find out. Professor Dwight Gamble. Well, he's the internationally famous archaeologist. Is that so? What's he do? <laughs> he digs into things, Icky, like the ruins of ancient cities. Yeah, and tombs of ancient kings. Tombs? You mean where dead people live? <clears throat> dead people do not live, Icky. Yeah, that's right. I never thought of that. <laughs> I read something in the papers about Professor Gamble recently. I remember he was searching for the tomb of one of the early pharaohs in the Valley of the Nile. Well, his telegram would seem to indicate he may have found it. What's he want from us? Congratulations? Squadron members never send unimportant messages. He must be in some difficulty. Icky installed the auxiliary fuel tanks in the Silver Dart. We're taking off for Egypt. Right away. In uh, just a minute, that is. What is that, Icky? That's my rabbit's foot. From now on, I'm packing a little insurance. Well, it didn't insure the rabbit very well, or he'd still be in possession of it. You know, uh, that's right, Icky. There are uh, two schools of thought on that. Well, Tuck can go to his school, and I'll go to mine. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Gamble, want to go around and open a book? Oh, to learn about ancient civilizations. People in those days buried implements of peace and war with their leaders. They used in an afterlife. From these, men like Professor Gamble can piece together the customs and habits of thousands of years ago. Why don't they just read a book? They don't read them, they write them. Have a look, Iggy. Valley of the Nile. Land of mystery. Home of the ancient pharaohs and pyramids. Some people even think the Garden of Eden was located there. Looks like the garden needs a little watering. Where's Cairo? Just ahead, we'll soon know why Professor Gamble needs our help. We've evidently made a mistake. We're looking for Professor Gamble. There's no mistake, Jeff Jackson. Yes. Thank you. I'm Eve Gamble, Professor Gamble's daughter. We're very glad to meet you, Miss Gamble. This is my assistant, Ichabod Mudd. That's uh, Ichabod spelled with two muds. Uh, I mean, a mud spelled with two icks. I mean, what uh, he's trying to say is just call him Icky. Well, I'm very glad to meet you, Icky. Won't you sit down? Thank you. Uh, we've come here in response to your father's telegram. My father didn't send that telegram, Jet Jackson. I sent it. My father's disappeared. Disappeared? Here in Cairo? No, on the desert, three days ago. Have you notified the police? Well, naturally. I went on a searching party with them, day before yesterday, but we couldn't find any trace of him. Suppose you, from the beginning. It all started when father discovered these important ruins. Strange things began to happen. Like what? Well, first of all, our food and water supplies were mysteriously destroyed. Then a weird voice, speaking in ancient Arabic out of the darkness, warned us to leave or, or suffer the curse of the pharaohs. That was the night my father disappeared.
can't imagine your father running away from any imagined curse, Miss Gamble. Oh, no, my father, my father wouldn't run away, of course, but the natives did. They were terrified. They... Guy. Did you recognize him, Miss Gamble? No. I'm sure I never saw him before. I bet he's got something to do with your father's disappearance. Well, it could be, but... But what, Miss Gamble? Well, the night before my father disappeared, he explained the curse of the pharaohs to me. He said that their spirits are supposed to revenge themselves on those who, who disturb their tombs. Well, my father has opened many. Oh, well, surely you don't believe your father has fallen victim to this, to this curse. Well, all the men who opened the tomb of King Tutankhamun met mysterious death. Well, perhaps. But I'd almost be willing to guarantee there's nothing supernatural about your father's disappearance. Well, then what could have happened to him? That's what we're going to find out. The best place to start is where Professor Gamble was last seen. Can you take us there? Well, yes, my car's right downstairs. But it's a long, hot trip into the desert. We'll have to have supplies and water, and you'll need a change of clothes. We'll go to our rooms and change and meet you in the lobby. Fine. How many miles to the next Mirage? You mean Oasis, Icky? Oasis, Mirage, just as long as you get out of this heat. Now, we should be at the desert ruins by sundown, anyway. Hey, look, a parade. There must be a circus around here somewhere. <laughs> Those aren't circus, Icky. You're looking at a native caravan. And still the most reliable desert transportation. Just let them fill up on water, and they'll go on carrying the freight. Those babies aren't carrying anything. Probably returning from delivering a cargo to Cairo. Did you ever hear so much quiet in your life? Mm. Quiet enough for sleep, which I could use right now. I suggest we all turn in. First thing in the morning, we'll start searching for your father. Do you think there's a chance that we'll find him, Jet Jackson? Well, a man just doesn't disappear into thin air. What is he saying? It's the same warning. Leave this place immediately, or the curse of the pharaohs will be upon us. A ghost. That's a ghost's voice talking to us. It was a man's voice. It came from over in that direction. Mickey, we'll find out who owns it. You mean you and me are going after that thing? Certainly. You go around that way. I'll angle around this way. We'll close in on him from two sides. Eve, you keep the fire going so whoever it is will think we're still here in camp. Yeah, but I... Get going! Something on my gun went off. Are you all right? Yeah. Say, you may have stumbled over something important. Take a look at this. Why, it's covered with carbon weapons. Yeah, it's got writing on it, too. If this is authentic, these inscriptions should tell a story. But they do tell a story. This is the burial ground, the entrance to the burial ground of King Zolomon and his daughter, the Princess Anatari. This is the tomb Father's been searching for. Here's the legend that proves it. Here's Queen Zolman, and there's King Zolman. Here's the sarcophagus of his daughter, the Princess Sanatari, and she was murdered by a jealous lover. Here's the jealous lover being torn apart by two oxen. These hieroglyphics, can you translate them? I, I think so, yes. Literally, they say, death shall come upon swift wing to him 
Who toucheth the tomb of a pharaoh? Why, it's the original curse of the pharaohs. Inscribed nearly 5,000 years ago. What? Why, that's my father's scar. Are you sure? I'm positive. Oh. Give me a hand, Nicky. Let's see if we can lift this slab. Stairs. Yeah, well, let me know what you find. I'll stand up here and go out the camp. Bye. You'll go along with us. Well, if you put it that way, just a minute, huh? Come on. Well, this passage must lead somewhere. Come on. Yeah, and what's at the end of it when we get there? Still no sign of my father. Well, let's keep going. Hey, wait a minute. You know, for the crude tools they used, the ancient Egyptians certainly turned out a marvelous precision job in stone masonry. not relics from the time of the pharaohs. But what are they doing here? That's a good question. Hey, can you ever see a rifle like this? Yeah, I sure have. Definitely not made in the USA. Right. Whoever owns these rifles didn't want your father digging so close to their base of operation. That's why all those strange things happened, including the mysterious voice. You think somebody's trying to set up a local revolution? It's possible. This part of the world is a powder keg nowadays. You know, these weapons could even be on their way out of Egypt. What do you mean? Well, native terrorists have gone on the rampage far south of here. And there have been rumors that these murderous raids are being instigated by agents of an unfriendly power. Raise your hands, all of you. Very brilliant deduction. Very brilliant. Take their guns. And please don't attempt any heroics, Jack Jackson. It would be a pleasure to shoot a man of your prowess. You should have returned to America, Miss Gamble. That way you would have stayed alive. What have you done with my father? Your father has found the tomb he has been seeking for years. Open the door to it, Hazel. You and your friends will join your father in the grave of the pharaohs. It will be yours also. Please enter. thanks to those gun runners. But who are these gentlemen? I'm Jet Jackson, Professor Gamble. Assistant Assistant, Icky. How are you? You appeal to the secret pardon and Jet Jackson came to your aid personally. I'm very grateful. How long have you been in here, sir? Well, this is my fourth night. Do you happen to have a drink of water? I finished what was in my canteen yesterday. I certainly do. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Aren't you hungry, Father? Oh, no. Food was no problem. I opened a sealed chest of wheat. Grown more than 5,000 years ago. 
As you can see, the wheat is in a perfect state of preservation. Yeah, where'd you get that lamp? Well, there were two of them. Buried to light the way of the pharaoh and his daughter to the next world. I found a cask of oil, made wicks out of my handkerchief, and lit them. Well, there must be some air getting in here. And no man could live, no lamp could burn in a sealed tomb without a supply of oxygen. this block. Stop, you can't use that antique battle axe, it's priceless. Well, our lives are priceless too. Personally, I don't want some archaeological expedition coming in here and opening his tomb 5,000 years from now and wondering how four Americans happen to be buried with an Egyptian king and his daughter. And without mummy cases, let me have one of those glorified meat cleavers, huh? Now, let's get to work. did men work with such valuable tools. <coughs> now it's moving a little bit. The Nanj arrives with the camel train, Hazem. I want you to load all the American's equipment into their car and dispose of it. No trace must ever be found, understand? Yes, Effendi, no trace will ever be found. Nanj should be here by now. What keeps him? Camels are whimsical creatures, Effendi. Sometimes they refuse to be hurried, even on journeys of great importance. this direction first. There is no sign of Nodge on the camel train yet, Effendi. Stupid fool, he could ruin everything. He shall pay for this delay. The guns must be on the way south before dawn. Come, let's go above ground and await Nard's arrival. Quick, let's grab some rifles. And if they won't surrender, it'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. No, I checked earlier. There isn't any ammunition. There's always something to keep me from being brilliant. What do we do now? The camel train is coming. I think I've got an idea. Come on. Let's get back to the tomb. The tomb, Paul. Come on. Boy, look at those jewels. They belong to the princess who was murdered by her jealous lover and were buried with her in this tomb. They just might do the trick for us. Eve, put them on. Camels weren't indispensable to my plans. I would teach you what it means to be late. Hazem, have the man load the gun trace on the camels quickly. Ahmed, Ahmed, Gamal, Ahmed, Gamal. Hey, hey, how do we go? Look on the wall. Chief! Eta La tangu la la hatala fahai. Halt! No one is to leave! But Effendi, the shadow on the wall is of the Pharaoh Princess. And she speaks, warning us of the curse. We will die. I say no one leaves this room. 
fools who believes in shadows or curses. Look. The curse of the pharaohs. I leave at once with my men. Do not try to stop us. Fools, this is a trick. She is only flesh and blood. Look, I'll show you. Great, Judge Jackson. And I'll never be able to thank you. We're both deeply grateful, not only for saving our lives, but for making it possible for me to reveal to the world one of the greatest archaeological discoveries in history. Well, we were glad to be of help. Weren't we, Icky? You bet. Oh, yeah, yeah, and to stop that gang of gun runners, too. I... <laughs> <laughs> Suppose Professor Gamble and Eve will go on digging up kings and things? Oh, probably. Archaeology is their life work. Welcome home. How was the mission? Oh, it was uh, most interesting. Anything happen here? Well, the usual. You got an invitation from Washington to witness a test run of a new guided missile. Uh, a committee from a secret squadron club has asked for an appointment. Well, Queen Luana radioed, thanking you for helping her people. That was that Pacific Island mission, you know. Yeah. And the Navy Department wants to know if you can... Oh. Squadron headquarters. Jed Jackson? Yes, sir. That's mine. Right. For you. Hello. <clears throat> Professor Gamble. Yes, just a few moments ago. They did? Well, that certainly is good news. Thanks for letting me know. Goodbye, sir. The Egyptian police traced those guns and uncovered a plot by foreign agents that involved the entire Middle East. Now, why would anyone want to take over that country? Nothing but sand, desert, and dead people living in tombs. Well, that won't always be desert. Science is finding new ways to irrigate the land and make it productive. Strategically, the Middle East is of great military importance. There are tremendous oil fields, mineral deposits, Suez Canal. Enemies of the free world will go to great lengths to cause disturbances down there. You're lucky you got out alive. Yeah, don't I know it, but from now on, I'm going to be protected four ways to Sunday. Four ways? <laughs> Proves once more that fighters against crime must always be alert and courageous, just like the young secret squadron members who come to me with a problem that leads to one of the most daring bank robberies on record. It's an adventure that's full of excitement and thrills, and one of the most desperate fights of my career. Be sure to be with us. We'll rendezvous here at headquarters. This is Jet Jackson, signing off with the code of the Secret Squadron. Justice through strength and courage. Out. <laughs>